All right, so while I make my kids something to eat, I'll have my discussion. Getting more coffee. Anyway. I have to wait for the oven to preheat. Now, so yesterday I was pretty upset about the news that we got here in BC. And now people are asking me certain questions that I've already answered in May of this year and also last year. I also point them to actual immunologist proof of these things. And the only place that those people can speak out is on Rumble. So I refer them to certain Rumble um, videos. In my video from back in May, I believe it was, uh, is it really worth it? I would suggest you guys go and read that, or I'd rather watch that, because in the description box, I believe I post a lot of links to the videos and my resources of where I got all this information from. And so, just to say, since then, people have been trying to say it's not the mark of the beast, it's just a precursor. Well, then I asked for scripture about whether or not there is a precursor. I said, where in scripture does it say that there's a precursor to the mark of the beast? Well, they say, well, the Antichrist isn't even on the world stage yet. I said, oh, does it say specifically that he has to be on world stage before the mark of the beast is implemented? Quite literally crickets. And then I show them a video from someone who has been studying Revelations for like 15 plus years. And he says that the book of Revelations is out of order. There's no actual order or sequence or um, timeline. So any of the things in Revelations could happen at any time during whatever. It doesn't have to be in um, sequence. It, it, there's no timeline. There's no linear uh this happens first, and then this, and then this, and then this. It doesn't even say that in Revelations at all. Um, when it's talking about a specific event, it says, and then this. But it doesn't reference each event as in, this happens, and then this event happens. It, it doesn't do that. It says, this is what happens when the Antichrist takes the stage. This is what happens when the Mark of the Beast is implemented. Um, it doesn't say when each of those things will happen. It doesn't say which in the timeline will this happen. It just says that this is what's going to happen. It's also very clear in Revelations that the mark of the beast is a deception. The whole world is deceived into taking the mark of the beast. And, even, and, and if it were possible, even the very elect. However, those with ears to hear and eyes to see can see that they would not take the mark of the beast and this is the mark of the beast every single thing that happened against uh humanity every single tragic event against humanity was brought on through propaganda deception and lies every single time we can look through history and see it time and time again that they set it up that you against them and then implemented their action against those who would disobey the official narrative, the official story, the official whatever it is. We can see that happening right now with the unmarked and the marked. Now there are certain buzzwords on YouTube so I can't say certain things but I will make references to them and you guys should be able to understand what I'm saying uh, based off of the intelligence that you should hold, okay? Now, back in 1930-something uh, to 1940-something, during uh, <coughs> WW2, <coughs> uh, when that empire that was trying to dominate the whole world decided to go against a group of people, we'll name Jacob for now, because if anybody knows their Bible, they know who Jacob really is and who Jacob became, because God changed his name when he touched his hip. Now, let's get back to the story. So, this person hated Jacobs, okay? And so, he turned everyone against the Jacobs through propaganda on the radio. 
They bring diseases. They're stealing money. They're stopping the economy from getting better. Blah, 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 blah. These are the kinds of things that were said. We have to stop them from going out into public. We need to know who these people are so we can avoid them. So then he implemented a system of recognizing who they were, which if you want to know, it was the Ram Fran uh, star <coughs> on their shoulder to identify them. And if you're wondering what color it was, yellow. This should be enough evidence of what I'm trying to say here. So this group of people or empire that wanted to rule and dominate the world lied about a group of people, Jacobs, and had everyone turn against them so that they could implement their own draconian utopia, which didn't work out very well, did it? Because, you know, it wasn't time for... It wasn't quite time for Jesus's return. So clearly that failed. Now we're seeing that we're living in the days of Noah. And what do I mean by that? You guys need to go back to the book of, uh, of Genesis and read what was going on in the days of Noah. One of the things that was going on in the days of Noah was Sodom and Gomorrah which we all know why that happened. And I don't need to go back into this because I've extensively talked about this and proven my point. Oh, yay. All right, so I have to put the food in, hold on. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, set the timer. Okay, so Sodom and Gomorrah happened because of the cries of the little children that were being uh hurt i'll just say that because like i said there's certain buzzwords so children were being hurt and abused and they were crying so loud that it distressed god so much that he needed to destroy the whole uh city so he sent three angels down to remove lot and his family guys 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 don't argue please so he sent three angels to get Lot and his family out of the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, when he did that, the people of Sodom wanted to hurt and abuse those angels. And um, so, yeah, so there's a lot about it. <laughs> you can read it in Genesis. I believe it's I believe it's Genesis 19 and then uh Judges 19, I believe, is the other reference to the same type of people. I'll just call them buggards because it's just simpler that way because, like I said, there's buzzwords. So buggards were the reason Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Now, what else was going on in the days of Noah? I don't believe that was in the days of Noah. That was in the days of Moses. But I believe that Noah was still alive at that point. But anyway, we'll just move on from that. In the days of Noah, the fallen angels came down and mated with the uh, daughters of men. And they created uh, these hybrid creatures, giants, called the Nephilim. Okay, so their DNA was being changed through mating with these fallen angels, creating these new creatures. Now, this snake bite, the mark, is also changing dna and it's been extensively researched and documented that this is exactly what they intended to do with this thing damn it if the internet wasn't censoring all the information the proper information and only allowing the acceptable information like <clears throat> w <clears throat> w <clears throat> to uh empire that wanted to turn the people against the jacobs with the official story the official propaganda the official acceptable information they censored everything as well they changed everything and they lied a lot anyway let's move on to present day if it wasn't censored right now you would be able to go and look up the beginning of when they first started mentioning the snake bite and how they talked about the spike proteins and how it was continuously being shed and they didn't know how this was going to react with the human DNA and blah, 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 because they never done it before. Now they're all of a sudden saying that we have extensive data that's, that proves that spike proteins don't attach to your DNA and change anything and blah, blah, blah. That's false because they don't have enough data to say such. 
the appropriate time for studying and gathering data on the snake bites would have been 10 to 15 years, but they pushed this in nine months. That's not enough ga gathered data to say that long term, nothing happens to your DNA. That's not enough to say that, especially with all of the reactions and injuries that's happened since implementing the snake bite. Not to mention the fact that they're pushing it so hard now that you now have to have proof that you've gotten the mark to enter into any facilities that are considered entertainment for now. I'm just saying this for now because soon it's going to be everywhere. You won't be able to do anything without proof of your mark. It's slowly. They have to do it slowly for the rebellers and the rebellious ones. And I'm telling you, there's already protests set up. So they already have protests set up for three times this month. September 1st, September 12th, and September 18th. It's not a secret. It's all over Facebook, so everybody already knows, and even Big Brother already knows, so don't worry about it. But the thing is, I'm not going to any of those protests. Not because I don't believe in um, what they're talking about and what they're doing. It's because I know what it turns into. Eventually. Not only that, I know also some other things that I'm not going to mention on here because every time I mention the truth, everybody's like, oh, you're just crazy. No, no, no. If they have it in um, <clears throat> CCP, they have it here. I mean, we're like best friends with them. So if they can track someone within minutes through recognition. I wonder what they're doing when people gather to protest. Could it possibly be that they're gathering And that's why I'm not going. Now, I probably am on some sort of list somewhere for having spoken out through YouTube. I don't really care. Because it'll happen when it's time and based on God's will. God's will is the only thing that I care about. I don't care about my will. It's not my will whenever it happens. All I know is I've seen what's going to happen. You can believe me or you don't believe me, but the Bible talks about heavily uh, about people getting dreams and warnings to warn people. The Bible also talks about in Ezekiel 3 and then again in 33 about warning his people of the wickedness and having them try to turn away from sin in time so that they're not judged or condemned. And so I already put all the information out there everywhere. So if you guys still reject it, if you guys still question it and doubt it, then that's not on me. I already did what I was supposed to do, so your blood will not be on my head, um, on my hands. It'll be on your own head. And so I can wash my hands clean. The thing that just really boggles my mind is is so many people saying, Oh, I know, I know what the Bible says. I, I'm a firm Bible believer. I read the Bible all the time. I have a good, close relationship with Jesus. And yet doubt and reject what I'm saying. Everything I ever present and everything I ever post or put out there is backed by Bible and scripture. So if you're saying that you're a Bible believing, God fearing Christian, and you're claiming to know the Bible and all this other stuff, then you shouldn't be denying what I'm saying. And you shouldn't be rejecting what I'm saying simply because you have not done your extensive research and studying to show yourself approved. That's that's not on me. You should be rejoicing in the fact that somebody's trying to warn you and take it to prayer. That's what you're supposed to do. And then search the scriptures like the Bereans. That's what I've been doing. Nowhere in scripture does it say that a bugger can be saved because Romans 1 says that they're given up, given up, given over to a reprobate mind. Therefore, buggards are just going to remain buggards. There's no saving them. Another thing that's not in scripture is, 
Another thing is that's not in scripture is the fact that people in Revelations have not repented for taking the mark and are not saved after taking the mark. In fact, it is very clearly stated that those who take the mark get really uh, wholesome sores all over their bodies. And uh, when when Jesus comes and brings out his wrath of pouring out the vials and the bowls and whatnot, that's when that happens. Not quite yet, but it, it, it will happen. Um, and they're also thrown into the lake of fire for taking the mark of the beast. It doesn't say anywhere that some of them were saved. Some of them repented and were saved. It doesn't say anywhere like that. So when somebody says, so nobody can be saved if they take the mark, definitely not. Not at all. They're in the same category as buggards. Reprobate. The other thing is, is that people will say, well, what's the image of the beast? Because there, people have to worship the image of the beast. Well, that's strange because people who have taken the mark also have to have an image to prove that they've taken the mark, don't they? In the form of a QR code or a little card certificate thing, that's an image. Also, where is that most likely going to be held? In your phone, which is another image of the beast. And I've gone over this before, too. And it has a voice. Your phone can talk to you. Have you ever heard of Siri? Or I don't even know the Android version. Anyway, well, what about the false prophet? The false prophet isn't even here. Uh, giving signs and wonders and blah, 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 blah. Really? I would assume that people with the proper knowledge and intelligence could see that quite literally the mainstream media is the false prophet. Performing signs and wonders by lying and, and perpetuating hate towards a demographic of unmarked. I can't even believe nobody sees that. They literally dictate how people feel based on what they spit out on every news cycle false prophet <sighs> people anyway I just had to get this out there because some people just don't under some people just don't understand and I really would like it in a way that's simple for them to understand. I just don't know how to say it any simpler than what I've said. I also have a video right after these videos of uh, the posts that I made with the proof of what's in these marks and the fact that some of them weren't even brought to human trials but have somehow stated that they have safety trials that have proved that they're uh, undoubtedly so safe for you to take more than one at once. And all of them have dead fetal matter in them, or DNA, if you're really wondering. Anyway, the reason I tell you to read your Bibles is because people tell me I'm a false teacher, which if I was a false teacher, I would tell you to believe everything I say and don't look it up in the Bible. But I'm telling you all to look it up in the Bible. So therefore, how can I be a false teacher when I'm telling you to go to the source of where I get all my information? The Bible. Think about that. And explain to me why somebody who is apparently a false teacher telling you to go to the source.
this is an add-in, obviously, um, yeah. to my previous uh, vlog area that I just discussed about look, the Mark look. of the Beast again, because I was just continuing on with it. I wanted to add a couple of things in about that. Just hold on one second. I have to turn this off so that there's no copyright in the background. Anyway, so... Like, I don't remember if anybody ever actually watched any of the videos where I talked about my dream that I had about a year and a half ago now. I believe it was a year and a half ago now. It was sometime in... Strange. It might have been in April or May when I had that dream. Which seems to be around the time when I usually have my um, dreams. Anyway, I will reiterate my dream now. So, my dream started off with door-to-door -door knocking and uh, asking whether or not people had their um, snake bite um, proof or the mark and so whoever didn't was offered to get their snake bite in a bus that was following the soldiers that were going door to door to do this okay so they end up coming to our door and knocking on the door and me and my husband said we do not believe in this snake bite we're not going to take the snake bite we refuse and then they explain to us what's going to happen. That we're going to be separated from our children and placed in a government um, uh, approved facility for, an ex for a, a certain amount of time. Now, in the dream, it wasn't very clear of how long they were saying that we we're going to be in there. At least I don't remember that much now. You should go and watch that video when it was fresh. Um, I don't know what it's called. You're going to have to watch like... Some of the oh. videos to find it but anyway so then they take us they separate us from our kids our kids go into foster care and me and johnny get separated um once we get to the facility but we ride together in the paddy wagon or whatever you want to call it we get to the facility they separate us we're now in a room so the next scene in my dream is i'm in this room it's all white there's one table um I think there was even like a small um, area for writing or I think there was paper and a pencil or something and obviously a bed but no windows. Now there was a light in the ceiling and it was fluorescent lights so the whole room was lit up white. This facility was quite clean. We had our clothes taken off. We were put into some other clothes kind of looked like scrubs. Um, and uh we had a plexiglass uh for like a to separate uh the it's basically the door area but there was but there was also like a window so you could see the hallway area and people walking up and down the hallway um next thing ne next scene i see is i'm allowed to visit uh, i'm allowed to visit johnny but we're separated by a plexiglass and then the next scene I see is the TV, and on the TV is a protest, and the captioning on the protest in on this um, news, uh, breaking news, was the largest protest in Canada. So that was the heading of the whole breaking news, the largest protest in Canada. So in this news thing it shows them protesting marching and then stopping somewhere to do speeches and whatever yeah. and at this point i get to see outside of the facility it's like i'm a third like a ghost or something i'm above where these people are protesting and i can see that just on the edge of where they're speeching or doing the speeches military are lining up to surround them police military and UN and Chinese soldiers are with them, okay? UN and Chinese soldiers is what I seen first, and then Canadian military and the police. So they make a perimeter around them to box them in. By the time they realize what's happening, it's already too late. They try to, like, you know, 
They try to break through the barrier of the people, or soldiers, sorry. They try to break through, but each time they do, they grab that one person that tries and, like, uh, ho hogtie them and put them away into a, a thing. Now it's back to me being in the cell that I'm in, and I'm watching it on TV. They're they're grabbing them and arresting them, and I know this in my in my in my body. They're never going to be seen again. That's what I feel, right? After that, I get stuck in another facility. This facility is dirty, like really dirty. There's no windows. It's very dark except for one light shining into a corner of the of the cell. And it's a dark, it's a dark place. So it, I think this was meaning to say my resting place, basically. This is where I'm going to die in the dream. And I knew immediately as soon as I was put in there that I would never see Johnny again. I would never see my kids again. And that was my... That's where I was going to die. So I woke up terrified, crying, scared, obviously. And I just didn't understand why I would see or would have this dream. And I didn't know if I should tell it to anybody at first. It took me a couple of months to even think about telling somebody. Um, I did write it down in my diary. Um, I'll have to go and find that diary. It's somewhere in my room. <laughs> Or maybe it's in my other book, um, my other pink book. But anyway, I wrote it down as soon as I had it. And so that would give us a date. I'll go look for it. And um, anyway, so why am I telling you this now? Well, today I was just scrolling on Instagram and I saw that Revelations of Jesus Christ ministry or Jesus Christ uploaded a video to IG um IGTV, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what it is. It's just this area where you can upload videos. Anyways, I saw that he uploaded a video and I was watching it. And apparently the CDC is literally outlining my dream in these green zone facilities. Like you can't even make it up now. I've been saying it for over a year that this was going to happen over a year and everybody's like oh you're just crazy you don't know what you're talking about this person has has lost their mind she's a jesus fanatic she is an extremist she's a, she's this and she's that spreading all these mock mocking and scoffing slanderous mm -hmm. things about me and here it is a year later or should i say a year and a half later Ta-da! So it's just, it's astounding how people will reject something until it's in their face. So I actually screen recorded it so that you can now watch it right after this. So I hope you had a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys later when I'm in bed. I'll do one minute just to say goodnight and then... Um, I have to go to bed early tonight. But just so you guys know, don't have fear. Just pray and have unwavering faith. That is, we're not given a spirit of fear. We're given a spirit of um, love and assurance that Jesus is with us in the midst of all of these things that are coming. And it's our fear that feeds them. We don't want to feed them. So don't give them that fear. Pray. Catch you later. We have orders that allow for things like internment camps. Have you heard of these things? What is an internment camp and why are the feds hiring for positions of people that would be guarding or transporting to these internment camps? With us now is Deanna Lorraine. Internment camp, does that mean concentration camp? What exactly is this? Well, of course. I mean, they're going to they're gonna wrap it in some fun. What about the executive orders that allow for things like internment? Internment camps. Have you heard of these things? What is an internment camp and why are the feds hiring for positions of people that would be guarding or transporting to these internment camps? With us now is Deanna Lorraine. Internment camp. Does that mean concentration camp? What exactly is this? Well, of course. I mean, they're going to they're going to wrap it in some 
fine dressing. And they're actually calling it green zones. Everything that they label green is sort of a friendly thing, right? It's innocuous. So green zones is what they're labeling it, aka internment camps or concentration camps. And this is known as the shielding approach. And it's right there on the CDC website. And I really feel like your viewers and all of America need to know about what this shielding approach is. Because again, it's being built right now. These camps are being built right now in neighborhoods and they're about to unleash this on us. We know that uh, a lot of people have been talking about how Biden is probably going to issue another lockdown, another nationwide lockdown. Now, we don't know if he's going to go through with that or not, but that's the fodder. That's the talk of the town is another lockdown. But going along with that is this what they're calling a shielding approach. And what the shielding approach is, is removing people from their households, from their families, even separating couples who they believe are high uh, risk, right? High risk for COVID and putting them in these camps. The camps will be built all over different communities all across the nation. Every, every city will have these camps. Anyone who is not vaccinated is a high risk individual, right? So great. They go and take, rip the person from their home against their will. Doesn't matter because it's all for the purpose of health. Put this in the, put them in this internment camp or uh, green zone, if you will, um, and keep them there for at least six months. They're saying the program would be at least six months, but there's a caveat in there in this uh, document that says they, they have the right to extend it indefinitely until COVID, until the pandemic of COVID disappears. They're going to hold you for six months. Um...